updated today and we actually got a few features that are handy and are cool and some are maybe a little bit yeah how do you say it weird so let's just get straight into today's update video so we're going to start but already actually on my screen on the right top you can see new tips that actually are around the whole ui i haven't really seen any of them this is the first one but it says like there are two currencies money is used for building your park and well the credits are used for skins and money boosts where you can just click them away and then why you can see they are just going for everything and just sort of explaining the game a little bit more then next up is a new skin for a actually right that we of course got quite recently the tumble train and yeah it's a cool skin I just haven't really used like this right at all but it's the caterpillar skin and as you can see you can also now actually preview like how it looks from like a 3d render which is that's actually pretty cool i think that's well done uh, it costs 3500 credits so let's buy that wait a minute i am under 1 million credits okay no wait i am i cannot do that <laughs> ah there we go 1 million again all right let's enable the caterpillar skin here we go and ah, that actually does look pretty cool yeah it, probably not really going to use this one it, actually this right it's really like a fun fair right but it does look pretty cool then next up is probably what well, the big thing of this update well there's another thing that we're going to look a little bit later in this video so make sure you keep watching but that is the single wheel and this coaster as you can see is thin like really really thin like compared to the old lo look at the difference that's thin so yeah let's just place i don't know like a turn or something and just go make it go oh no I okay you know what we're just going full on chain lift mode let's go uh, with some brakes there we go so here we can have a better look at the trains and uh two things one i don't think it's like from one of real life if so it might be the intamin because i have not really seen this train before it's at, at least it's definitely not the rmc one but again yeah amazing train really cool even with the vest and the fun thing is this is almost the same restraints as like the new gen vicoma with like these vests so hey maybe dennis if you're watching this who knows great idea yes i actually do really like how it looks i think these are new bogey sets or at least i do look like it but i don't know i just really like the seats themselves and i think it worked let's uh, let's yeah give it a ride and see how it goes and yeah the, the track itself is just also actually you can even see the balls going through like the supports into the track and yeah it it, it works i kind of i kind of like it Whee! <laughs> oh what a terrible layout okay let's continue all right and then there is something in the update that i don't really understand yet so let's go to one of my parks and see what changed all right well i have loaded in this well yeah another park and we have to like take a yeah closer look to actually the track because there has been like recalculation of how the track is actually smoothed and no not with the camera but just visual so normally you had like a lot of like yeah, it's hard to show i'm not sure if i have a picture but you were like able to see the transitions from like the piece to piece to piece of like a small like from this connector to this connector that was like a small edge to it and as you can see that has now been all smoothed up so all these pieces Pieces now look very smooth but as you can see in this video if you are overlaying coasters it does still do some weird stuff because it actually does it from a certain distance so like from here it might actually not do it but if you're going to get closer it it does and it's hard to show on a coaster like this but like on an overlay like this you can actually clearly see the transitions and it does actually mess up the whole pov since you can see the track changing so yes it is probably better for roller coasters but for overlaying coasters that maybe use different colors or just different tracks can actually mess up some of your stuff so keep that in mind and then there is one last thing and that is VR support. The game can now be played in virtual reality. Requires motion tracking controllers. Note that some features are not currently supported in VR. This is still a weird for me, for me because you could already play Theme Park 2 in VR. Let's just try it out and see how it is now okay so as you can see i am actually now in theme part of the two i can i can see myself right there it is a bit leggy and glitchy and um i guess i need to continue this and oh okay i am in the bush how does this work okay so i'm just going to load this in okay how do how do you walk oh no okay 
I am I am, I have no idea how this looks for you guys if this like this makes you sick quite laggy probably because my VR headset um, to be honest is not the best I have the oculus one so it's, it's definitely a bit weird and um, what are these things well down here absolutely nothing okay it's not liking loading in my park it is like whoa it's doing very weird things for me uh, how, how do you build oh okay why am I oh my god do you, I'm not sure if you guys can see that but do you see that's flying up there. Wait. Oh. Can I? Oh. Okay. I think if you actually have a good VR headset, this can actually be pretty cool since I think I can just place it here. I'm not sure what the button. Oh, that's the button. Okay. I am. I don't think you guys can see that. But for me, everything is just so glitchy in, in my screen it's really hard to show but it's like extremely laggy and i see like these black bars all around here like the image is not moving quick enough but just where's my camera it's like right there you know what i'm, I'm just going to do this Hello. Yeah, from what I can see, right there, you can see the UI. It is quite hard to actually, like, use it from what I can tell so far. But it is actually pretty cool and it does work. So this is quite a bad, outdated VR headset. So I would say if you have a good VR headset, then I might now actually need to get one to really try it out. And I think it can actually be pretty fun playing theme particles in VR since you can really, like, place everything however you want. Like, your hand is the mouse. So that's really cool. Probably cannot really try to build a roller coaster that's just way too laggy for it but i do have to say it is pretty cool so guys i want to thank you for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this update video if you have please leave a like oh why are we now from the top okay i think it crashed let me know what you think of this update let me know what you want to see in future updates maybe that will be added if not <laughs> lose so guys i will say as always good bye